What's going on, people? I want to show you guys something. Um, about three weeks ago, to be exact, I say back in June, it was actually it was July. You know, you can see it was like three weeks ago. Let me see if the date shows up here. But it was three weeks ago. So it was back in July. I had recorded a video regarding uh, Travis King over in North Korea. I want you guys to listen to this video that I made three weeks ago regarding Travis King. Check this out. But North Korea is going to take care of him. He's going to be okay. So feedback and tell me what you think. Till next time. Okay. Remember that? Remember that video? Now I'm going to play it back a little bit more. I want you guys to listen to it. I say right about there, you can watch the whole of the video that's on this channel. And you can see the title of it, Travis King, North Korea versus the United States. And then it says, North Korea will protect him politically. Now, I'm going to play a portion of that. Listen. It's like a light bulb went off in my head. It's almost like I got a revelation a revealing. This is my thought on Travis King being over in North Korea. He's going to be okay. Travis King is going to be okay in North Korea. If you look at a lot of the North Koreans, they almost look like so-called black folks. They have melanin in their skin. A lot of them look just like us. Not just for that reason, but Kim Jong-un is friends with Rodman, Kim Jong-un, I don't believe, have any issues with so-called black people. I really don't think so. This U.S. troop, Travis King, crossed over the borders upon his own free will and volition after being in prison in South Korea. I think it's going to be okay. I think that North Korea is going to protect him. North Korea is going to take care of him. And I say that because North Korea, the world, is fully aware of how America feels about the so-called black Americans. Black Americans are discriminated against here in this nation. So they really don't care too much about the so-called black American. And this, this, is not, this is not a pity party. This is not whining or crying like some of you may think. I'm only stating the facts. So by Travis King crossing over into North Korea, of course I think North Korea is going to use this as a political move. But at the same time, they're going to take care of Travis King. They're going to look out for him. You guys remember that video? Now, you can go back and check it out for yourself in its entirety. It's on this channel. Now, I'm going to also play the video I just saw today, a news article. Okay, so I'm not going to be coming back, but I want you guys to listen to this news article um, that was posted today. Check this out. Breaking news coming in right now from North Korea. What they're now saying about that U.S. soldier who crossed the DMZ into North Korea on his own. Let's get right to ABC's chief global affairs correspondent, Martha Raddatz. Martha, what have you learned tonight? Uh, David, this is the first public statement from North Korea since Travis King bolted across the border on purpose in front of a crowd of tourists less than a month ago. The North Koreans now saying he has expressed his willingness to seek refuge in North Korea or a third country after experiencing what they say is inhumane treatment and racial discrimination in the army. His family had told us something similar just a few weeks ago, saying he was struggling during his deployment with racism. Remember, Travis King also spent 47 days in jail after a fight and was facing discharge from the army. And tonight, the Pentagon saying they are still trying to facilitate his safe return. David? Martha Raddatz with the breaking headline from Washington. Martha, thank you.